what did you? What's the first thing you said after the match was over? Because I said, okay, what would you? What kind of advice would you give him? And you said he needed stronger strong sequences, strong rather than reacting with individual shots. Yes. So we're weak probing. At yes. Best. So yeah, his his sequences weren't strong. I was the one with the clear sequences. And you were able to say that, and in my opinion, you were able to say that because that's what you were looking for. You were looking to whether he was going to run strong two-shot sequences against you, especially in the first two shots that he hit, whether he's serving and returning. You saw him responding to your two-shot patterns with individual shots. So he was always reacting. Well, his first problem was he wasn't looking after those first two shots. Right. Weak or strong, if you're not doing that, we're going to look. Now, you can still... Even if you are doing, you know, reactive, weaker, weak probe sequences, okay, you can still, it's it's better, right, than just reacting and hitting individual balls or panicking and going for, um, going for the winner. Yes. Now. <clears throat> why as a player you do not want to respond with individual shot making and just leave it at one shot and we just talked about this in the car and what does it really do for a player when they play two shot pattern combination sequences that are strongly uh, they're strongly engaged in that it's not just a weak mm. moment for them okay. um, what did you notice yeah, look, I know I've beaten a player when they hit winners against me. <laughs> that is so counterintuitive to the That's conventional the wisdom. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's the paradigm. When they start hitting good shots. Okay. Yeah. All right. so I know that they've come out of sequence. Ah. That's my clue. Okay. And at the same time, I know I'm, I've got guards in my head now, right? Their security that don't allow me to come out of sequence. No matter what happens. You come out of sequence normally when you're ahead. Because yep, you're trying to put the ball away. You want to get this game over and done with because you, you know, that's it. This is stressful. And you're trying to like push too hard to apply pressure. Yeah. If I can hit a few winners, I can demoralize them. Not a not a really good player. Let's who finish stays this in guy off. Yeah. Not a not a good yeah. player that stays in sequence. Yeah. That's where matches are lost from. Okay. Point number two would be. Okay. If you're coming out normally, you'll come out of sequence on the serve. Hmm. Okay. And what it means is that you are just focused again and again on this one shot, okay? We're not looking at the point in the way we should, which is sequential, two shot sequence, okay? One so it, behind another. Yeah, when, it, when you're one shot, it's just like, almost like looking at, you might as well look at the ground, you know, that's where I am, yeah? Right, because we talk about like, Kayaking, absolutely, and, and yeah. you, when you're kayaking and you're and you're in the trying to get in the the, the really good kayakers, it's, a, it's like trying in the to kayak state. by going like that yeah, at, the, look at the water like this, right? Oh, instead of looking ahead, that's and, what my oar's doing right now. Look, <laughs> um, that's that's the second problem with with the sequential hitting, um, but it does give, and I mean that really. Look, if you, they start to hit individual shots, which are winners don't get me wrong they, they can hit some good ones they're gonna hit some good ones um, but they'll want more of them individual yeah. shots are addictive okay that it's like you know to get rid of the anxiety and the stress and the pressure that mm -hmm. you're feeling in a match mm -hmm. you try and take the um, the individual shots literally it's like taking a shot yeah. right? let, me, and, let me make a point he hit four individual sh winners that were magnificent right 
two, two Thanks. back. He hit a clean backhand down the line when you were back on the baseline, and it was a one-three combination. It was serve, return. He hit, he hit a backhand passing shot. He had a force yep. that was down the line. He had a forehand cross court yep. that was magnificent. Mm -hmm. And when you and if you get caught up in those, like you said, you try to hit more, and it's unsustainable. Well, you try and counter yeah. with with individual shots. That's right. You you, if to, you panic, can you say that one more time? You try and counter with individual shots of your own, and your game just unravels. Mentally and emotionally, how does it unravel? Okay, so. If, let's say, they make a good shot. Because, this, because the reason why I want you to go into this. Yeah. And, and I've, I, 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 I know we're on the same page here because I've seen the same thing. But I want to hear it from you. So much of the individual shot making, if we miss, we blame it on technique. And I want to hear what, and, or we hit a winner and we blame it on technique. We say it was because of our technique we hit that great winner. But tell me about the mental and emotional part of individual shot making and trying to put the ball away and hit a winner. Okay. When we resort to individual shot making, it's normally in, you know, in the clutch of the match. You'll see it first maybe at three all or even at two each in the first set. Okay. We want, we want to kind of We've checked out, if you like. Okay, we what don't. Do you, what what do I mean is, out? well, look, <clears throat> we're, we're experiencing anxiety hmm. in the match because it's tight. It's a mini battle. Two All matches are going to be a battle. Oh, we don't, if we don't matches. approach it, that, yeah. we, unfortunately, we prepare our kids to go. This is the most damaging thing you can say. Why don't you go out there and enjoy yourself? Oh no. Uh, Oh no. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Well, come on. Yeah. You've worked hard this week. You know? You deserve it. Don't forget. Yeah, all that work you've put in. And I'd like to see you, you know, have some fun. I don't want to see you get anxious and, and, and upset. Yeah? Which is um, totally unrealistic. They're going to totally feel angst man. and pressure and frustration and happiness and joy uh -huh. and. It's a it's a roller coaster. We're we're setting them up for something that is what you're doing is giving them a free card, a free ticket to check out <laughs> of the match and lose. Oh man! You, 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 yeah. So the, when the coach says go and enjoy us, the, what's going to happen right at three all, and it's a tight match, is this right? This is what happens. Okay, this is this is a tight match. Okay, I might not win this starts with a bit of doubt but that's okay because look I've got three games I'm not going to make an arse of myself here okay because look you know if you go out thinking oh, if, if you go out with the score mentality or oh, if I get three games against this guy yeah at least something's going to be intact you know the hierarchy will still be there I've got my three games and like no one can actually call me out here and say you, got you didn't paid. try and okay well I got three games can't have been that bad you said I didn't lose six love and I've you know and so on so basically so you've got quite a good score already in your head and this is the way it goes now the coach said that you know I should enjoy myself and why not I've worked hard this week um, and a lot of the times it's not my fault that I lose matches okay was that bloody pigeon that flew that it was the pigeon that put me off my you know my trainers don't quite it's there's a lot of things none of which are my fault so there I am sitting in this anxiety trainers, with a free ticket the shoes. yeah, shoes. yeah okay. with the shoes. Okay. so there I am sitting with my ticket that the coach has given me peers did peers the peer group does it as well the friends are going just go and join us so there you are with your free checkout ticket in, in an anxiety anxious and stressful situation Okay. And you're at three all. Look, okay. Now, do I want to continue to feel stress and anxiety? No, I want to feel happy. I want to go out there and enjoy because I deserve this. And um, <laughs> and they lose at that moment. And the worst thing is they come off court, right? And the coach is like, "Well, good show. 
you've got three games. We've got to, and the, the players think in my head, well, I may have lost this time. It wasn't quite my day, yeah. And they come the off forehand thinking, was quite not working. The oh, way. but it was close, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it wasn't because I haven't been working hard on my backhand, or my forehand, right? Or that shot, or this one, or that, yeah. All these individual shots, you know, we put we did two thousand repetitions. I might have said at least two thousand forehands this week. Okay, so if I maybe double it next week, that's going to help. See, see where this is going. Yes, absolutely. So there we are with our free ticket. We've checked out the match. We got a good score. Well, look, my coach is happy with me. Parents, my parents will be happy. Uh, my my friends will be impressed. I got six three. Didn't disgrace myself. You know, you you could have won that one had it have been your day. Um, and then the you know the the guy sit the, this is the real pop, the guy sitting there quite pleased. You know, the player that just lost six three. Yep, he's sitting there quite pleased, and who can blame him? He's six three. He tried hard. Look, he's not sitting there like the guy who's um you know done the downward spiral and you know, they're easy to deal with these guys. You know, it's just like right. you know. Don't have a match. At least I did have a bad you. attitude when I lost. You didn't. You had a very good attitude because you you played the game in a good spirit and it was about fun and you know. And you always do this and that's great. So we're just going to work. You know, maybe we'll hit four thousand four hands next week. Yeah. So and everyone's happy. The parents are happy. And then you, you drive back home. It's like okay. <laughs>